Approximately 200 to 500,000 malnourished children go blind in developing countries across the globe and half of them die within a year due to vitamin A deficiency. My name is Robert Mwanga. I work for the International Potato Center. My name is Maria Andrade. I'm a sweet potato breeder and a seed system person. My name is Jan Lowe and I'm a principal scientist working with the International Potato Center. Taking over Ovita. Yeah, Ovita. Yeah. 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 Very good. Being blind as a child is very difficult because the resources are limited. That means uh, they will find it difficult to get support. They will be left behind uh, in the backyard. They will have no support and it will be difficult for them to defend for themselves. They can't find uh, stuff to eat because it is limited and that in that way they will not experience the full potential of their lives. I worked with colleagues at the Kenyan Agriculture Research Institute and we put together a proposal to do the first research that was being done in Sub-Saharan Africa on the introduction of vitamin A rich uh, sweet potato into women's groups and at the time we set up a study where we looked at 10 women's groups where we just introduced the orange flesh sweet potato with no nutritional messaging and another one where we actually did nutrition education training. And we found when we did the nutrition education training that really we made a difference to young child's intakes and frequency of intakes of vitamin A rich food. And we also found that the young children loved the orange flesh sweet potatoes. Vitamin A is very important. Uh, because it really helps children, pregnant women and men, to improve their immune system. There are families, as you go, you move to, uh, to the villages uh, who grow orange sweet potato and they tell you, we have been suffering from diseases, but since we started consuming orange flesh sweet potato, our children fall sick less often. And you find families where they tell you they have got money to send children to school. And some of them get excited when their children go to school to attend university and complete their education because they have been able to grow orange flesh sweet potato and use it to improve their livelihood. This prize also gives us more responsibility in the way that we really need to talk with the, with the youth and to explain to them that anything that is very good, it takes patience and it takes time and you need to work hard for it. Because everything we just rush and go, that we get very fast, may not take you to where you want to go. They all the time say it's too hard, we cannot do it, but nothing is hard if you try hard enough. 